welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you our co-sleeping nursery situation for our new baby girl, Amelia. We live in a one bedroom apartment currently and we have to make it work because our lease isn't up until August. So I'm just going to share with you how I store things, the furniture that I have, and I hope you guys all enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, now jumping right into it. We have our very large bed and our lamp. And our closets are there. Shoe closet, clothes closet, and our laundry basket is behind this door. Now for Emilia's side of the room. Her string lights are from Target and the elephant decal is from Amazon and the wooden letters are from Target and I just painted them over with some pink paint. Now moving on to her dresser. This is a changing table dresser that I got off of Wayfair.com and it was around $115. Um, I'll link it in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, it has two compartments and a changing table on the top. You can take the white wood off and it'll just be a regular dresser but for now since she is a baby we just kept the changing station on top. Now moving into the first compartment we have her water wipes, some diapers, and her wipe container. And in the second compartment she just has some newborn shoes and baby shoes that she hasn't really worn at all because they don't actually fit her yet. Anyway, moving on into the first drawer, we have her sleeper pajamas, socks, and bibs and blankets. Now, these are my favorite bibs ever. These are the Tommy Tippy bibs, and they have the ring around them, so they stop the dribble from coming out and getting on her clothes. I really love those bibs. The rest of these bibs I like to use too, but I just really like those Tommy Tippy ones. Then she also has swaddle blankets. These are the only blankets that I really use. I don't really use receiving blankets. And these are burp claws that I don't actually use either. We just like to use bibs and swaddle blankets. Now into the second drawer, we have her onesies and t-shirts and pants. Now she is in the zero to three month size so these are basically all zero to three months. She is no longer in the newborn size, so I definitely got rid of all of those. And everything in this drawer is ranging from zero to three months to three to six months. And her pants are here in the back in shorts. And these are just more shorts and pants. And then here she has some t-shirts from Carter's. And she has the gown onesies that she doesn't really fit yet, so I haven't used those much. So that is that for that last drawer. Now, moving on to our closet. Inside of here, I just have some of her pieces that I don't um, want to put in her drawers because they're nicer pieces. And also some bigger clothes that she doesn't quite fit yet. And that is just that. Now there we have her laundry basket with a bunch of dirty clothes. Obviously I need to do some laundry. <laughs> then here we have her crib and this is the Baby Little Origami Mini Crib in a gray color. And we had to get something small because obviously we are in a very small apartment bedroom for the time being. Her mini crib mattress is from a Toys R Us and it is called the Dream On Me 5 inch portable crib mattress, I think that's what it's called. I don't remember if I got the 3 inch or the 5 inch, but I'm pretty sure it's the 5 inch. Inside she just has a few of her blankets. Now moving on to under the crib. Um, in the back I have her Honest Company diapers in the size 2. She's getting so big, she's already fitting a size 2, I can't believe it. These storage bins underneath I got from Target and they were about $6.99 each, I believe. And I just use them to store um, small things like in here. I just have her receiving blankets and extra crib sheets from American Baby Company. And that is the first one. And the next one I have her towels and washcloths. 
And these are all from Target and Burlington Goat Factory. And the last one, I just have all of her bath things. I know it's a mess, but um, I just gave her a bath recently, so that's why things are kind of scattered. These are pacifiers that she does not like. Um, I really don't know what to do with them. I boiled them, and um, I tried them, and she just is not having them. She likes a pacifier, but it's none of these. I'll definitely reference that in a future video that I have coming up soon, so um, stay tuned for that. In here, she just has her bath thing. She has a nail clipper, a brush that I got from the hospital that I really like to brush her hair because it's just so soft. And she has a boogie suction thing, which is gross. <laughs> and then she has her forehead thermometer that I haven't used yet because I haven't had the need to. And then she just has bath essentials. I have some stuff from The Honest Company, Aveeno, Shea Moisture, and that's about it for that. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,